I want to talk about some things that should make sense. How can I know anything of God if I am not praying, I am not reading the Bible, I am not doing the basic things of God? How can I tell you about how God interacts with ordinary people? How can I tell you what is possible and what is not possible? How can I tell you that, hey, your supernatural experience is wrong because it has to be this way when I don't even do the basic things of God? I have trouble obeying God, but I am trying to tell you what is possible and what is not possible. Let me say this. In the Bible, is all the information about heaven, hell, earth, so on and so on, is it in the Bible? If you are honest with yourself, you are going to say no. Because look, if the Bible had all the information, how large would the Bible be? Like, how many Bibles would people have to make to hold all the information? It would be impossible. So that is telling you that there is so much information out there that we don't know, right? So let's say that a person seeks after God. Like, they are always praying, always reading the Bible, always doing things of God. We know that the more we draw near to God, the more God is going to draw near to us. So since the Bible does not have all the information, how can we say that God does not interact with us in a certain way when there are people who draw near to God and explain to us how to do it, first of all, how can you say what that person is saying is wrong? Unless they say something crazy like, hey, God told me that we can have sex before marriage, or God told me that, you know, we don't have to turn the other cheek, like we can punch the other cheek. Now, if people, <laughs> if people say stuff like that, well, of course, they are wrong. But if they are telling you some things that you never heard of that does not contradict what the Bible says, why are you going out there saying that, hey, what you are saying is false because nowhere in the Bible does it say that at that point? Or what you are saying, I don't see it in the Bible. But we just said that the Bible does not have all the information. And I am telling you, other people are telling you how to get close to God. You refuse to do it, but you criticize what people are saying. The people who are really serving God, not these people that contradict what the Bible is saying. People are telling you how to get close to God, but you refuse to do it and criticize what they say. How crazy is that? Well, you know, what you are saying, the Bible doesn't say anything about that, but does it go against what the Bible says? No. Just because you have not heard of it, does that mean that it is not happening? There, if I were to tell you the things that I have seen, like with my natural eyes, not talking about in my visions and dreams and stuff like that, like you would think that I am crazy. 
And some people do. So, listen, you can't criticize anything You can't say how, how God is going to interact with people when you don't seek God. You can't tell me how God is when you are not even serving him. I pray that this makes sense. First, what you should do is actually like get out of sin and serve God. Take time to pray and read the Bible, yes do things of God, get closer to God, then tell me how God is. But don't sit on the sideline like, hey, you know, um, that's wrong and that's wrong right there, you know, but you can't even get your life straight. And I am not trying to sound mean or whatever else. I am just saying basic information. You can't criticize anything. You can't criticize what people are saying about God until you seek after him. I pray that this makes sense. Because the thing that you are doing, there are people who are trying to learn more about God, but when you are criticizing people who actually do serve God and are telling people how to get closer to God. And when you are saying that, hey, what you are saying is false and you know, the Bible says nothing about this and stuff like that, what you are doing, you, may, you are turning away other people who are trying to learn of God. Man, which, that is dangerous. That is dangerous. You are turning people away from God. Because there is no way that you can teach people about God when your life is bad. Because which I tell people, look, people are going to look at your life before they listen to what you say. So your life speaks louder than your words. Myself, I would hate going to a church where the pastor is sinning so much and telling me to stop having sex before marriage and stuff like that. I would leave, <laughs> to be honest. How can you tell me that I need to get right but you are in constant sin. Be careful criticizing people. If you don't know what you are talking about, don't talk about people. Like for myself, I have heard some things from people where like, <laughs> I never heard of ever, never heard of it. But I am not going to say, hey, you know, um, since I never heard of it, what you are saying is wrong and blah, blah, blah. Now, like I said, if that person says something like, you know, you should serve Satan and God told me that it is OK to be in sin. Yes, then I can say something. But if there is something I never heard of, but it does not contradict what the Bible is saying. How can I speak poorly about that person or say what they are saying is false? Think about that. Perhaps you don't get things from God because you are not close to God. You don't even try to get close to God. But when a real person of God is telling people about God, you want to cut that person down. That is not good. But you say that you are of God and you are trying to pr protect people of God, but what you are doing, you are cutting down the people that you say that you are on the same side with. Man. 
I am for God and even when people are telling the truth, if I don't know it, you are false. You are false. You are wrong. That is demonic. That is demonic. So I pray that this makes sense. Be careful on criticizing. Know what you are talking about before you speak on it. If I don't, if I am not sure about what a person is saying and it does not go against the Bible, I am not going to say anything of it because I don't know. There are some things that I can't teach on because I don't know much of it. So I have to research it first before I teach on it. How can I teach on something where I don't know the information of it? <laughs> hey, let me teach on this and <laughs> let me just give you all the wrong answers, you know. <laughs> what? We are going to be judged based upon the things that we say and do and think so we are going to be judged by what we say and if we are cutting down the people of god curses man we are going to be cursed i don't want to be cursed i believe i have been cursed because i chose to do the wrong things i am tired <laughs> of being cursed believe me this is why i am serving god because Calf is not down for curses. Ah, my Lord. So I pray that this makes sense. Really get this deep within you. Stop criticizing. Listen. Other than running your mouth and pointing your finger, listen and try it out. If a person is telling you to read your Bible more and pray more and God is going to do this and this and that, try it out. It is not a sin to read your Bible more, is it? Like what sin is there in reading your Bible? It is not a sin to pray more, right? So if you do it and what they say don't happen, then say something. But until then, don't say nothing until you try it. <laughs> but you rather just sit there and you are wrong. <laughs> you are so wrong, you know. I don't read my Bible or pray, but you are wrong. God does not do that or you can't act in that way. <laughs> you are wrong. <laughs> I never heard of everyone else doing that well we know that there aren't too many people out there who serve god there is like a low percentage of people who actually serves god just because you go to church and sing songs and testify to people and stuff like that does not mean that you serve god by far by far like <laughs> some people just don't want to change there are people out there who know the truth that probably can teach better and pray better and read the Bible better better than most but they are not serving God so I pray that this makes sense and I am not trying to be mean and rude and blah, 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 blah. No. I am just talking with you. That's all. God bless.